Hello, hello! Pizza Packs here, and we're back with our second Brawl deck from Throne of Eldraine. This one is a very popular commander. It's Corvold, Fey Cursed King, and the Brawl deck Savage Hunger. So this is a Jund deck, so black, red, green. Let's see what nulls in here. From the bottom. All right. So we've got the brawl insert that we had in the first one, which explains how brawl works, rules reference, and then the overview of the four different decks. This one is Savage Hunger. All right. So let's move this. Hey, I'm just going to drop it off. So our brawl, I guess brawl commander, main brawl guy, is Corvold, Faker's King. Two black, red, and a green for 4-4 four, four legendary dragon noble with flying. When it enters the battlefield or attacks, sacrifice another permanent. Whenever you sacrifice a permanent, put a plus one, plus one counter on Corvold and draw a card. Very powerful with Sacrifice synergy, Synergies, which there were quite a few, especially with food, um, around this time. There's a really popular um, Racto stack, the Racto Sacrifice stack, and the Jun Sacrifice stack that utilized food um, during this time in Standard. Also had uh, Cat Oven was so good that part of it got banned towards the end of the season. Got our divider, our double-sided spin down life counter. Let's see what null is in here. Alright, from the main set, our this is the extension set, so this is one of the cards exclusive to Brawl, or to the Brawl decks. We have Chittering Witch, three and a black for a 2-2 human warlock. Whenever it enters the battlefield, create a number of 1-1 one, one rat, black rat creature tokens equal to the number of opponents you have. One and a black, sacrifice a creature, target creature gets minus two, minus two until end of turn. We have Taste of Death. Or black black sorcery. Each player sacrifices three creatures. You create three food tokens. This actually saw a little bit of play in uh, Fires of Invention, which was another deck around this time. Thorny Mammoth. Five green green for a six six elephant with trample. When it or another creature enters the battlefield under your control, Thorn Mammoth fights up to one target creature you don't control. Gluttonous Troll. Two black and a green for a 3 3 troll with trample. When it is the battlefield, create a number of food tokens equal to the number of opponents you have. One and a green, sacrifice another non land permanent. Gluttonous Troll gets plus two plus two until end of turn. Oh. Speaking of Rakdo Sacrifice, one of the key engines in that was Priest of the Forgotten Gods. One and a black, you get a 1 2 human cleric. With tap, sacrifice two other creatures. Any number of target players each lose two life and sacrifice a creature. You add black, black, and draw a card. Red Horde Invasion. Almost Bitter Blossom. Not quite. One and a black, enchantment. At the beginning of your upkeep, you lose a life and amass one. Put a plus one, plus one counter on an army you control. If you don't control one, create a zero, zero black zombie army creature token first. 
Whenever a zombie token you control with power 6 or greater attacks, gains lifelink until end of turn. We have Krenko, 10 Street, 10 Street Kingpin. 2 and a red for a 1-2 Legendary Goblin. Whenever it attacks, put a plus 1, plus 1 counter on it, then create a number of 1-1 one, one red Goblin creature tokens equal to Krenko's power. Judith, the Scourge Diva. One black and a red for a 2-2 two, two legendary human common. Other creatures you control get plus one plus zero. Oh. Whenever a non-token creature you control dies, Judith, Scur the Scourge Diva, deals one damage to any target. And we have Find Finality. Uh, two hybrid black green. Return up to two target creature cards from your graveyard to your hand as a sorcery. And then Finality. Four black and a green. You may put two plus one plus one counters on a creature you control, then all creatures get minus four, minus four until end of turn. And Temple of Malady. It's the black green temple. We get Stomping Ground, the uh, Mountain Forest Shockland Duel. Very nice. Seems like each one of these decks had a duel in it, which is pretty nice, actually. We have Bacon to a Pie, 2 Black Black, Instant. This was Primo removal during um, Throne of Eldraine Limited. Destroy target creature, create a food token. Sir Conrad the Grim. So many combos with this guy. But 3 Black Black or 5-4 Legendary Human Knight. Whenever another creature dies or a creature card is put into a graveyard from anywhere other than the battlefield, or a creature card leaves your graveyard, Sir Conrad the Grim deals one damage to each opponent. One in a black, each player puts the top card of their library into their graveyard. Keeper of Fables, three green green for a four five cat. Whenever one or more non-human creatures you control deal combat damage to a player, draw a card. Savvy Hunter. This was part of the uh, black green food deck for quite some time. One black and a green for a 3-3 three, three human warrior. Whenever it attacks or blocks, create a food token. Sacrifice two food tokens, draw a card. We have golden egg. Two mana artifact food. When it enters the battlefield, draw a card. One tap and sacrifice it. Add one mana of any color. Two tap and sacrifice it. You gain three life. Witch's oven. This was part of the cat combo. I don't know if the whole cat combo is in this deck, but... It's very good at the time. Um, one mana artifact, tap, sacrifice, sacrifice a creature, create a food token. If the sacrificed creature's toughness was four or greater, create two food tokens instead. You have Arcane Signet, two mana uh, mana rock for your commander's color identity. Orzov Enforcer, one in a black for a one two human rogue with death touch and afterlife one. Plague Crafter, 2 and a black for a 3-2 human shaman. When it enters the battlefield, each player sacrifices a creature or planeswalker. Each player who doesn't, or can't, discards a card. Vindictive Vampire, 3 and a black for a 2-3 vampire. Whenever another creature you control dies, it deals 1 damage to each opponent, you gain 1 life. Blood Soaked Al Altar. Or black black for an artifact. Tap, pay two life, discard a card, sacrifice a creature. Create a 5-5 five, five black, black demon creature token with flying. Activate this ability only any time you can cast a sorcery. I think restricting this to sorcery speed was the one thing that held this card back from being decent. Goblin Crater Maker. So good it actually sees play in modern and legacy goblins. Uh, one in a red for a 2-2 two, two goblin warrior. Or colorless and sacrifice it. Choose one. It deals two damage to target creature or destroy target colorless non-land permanent. Rapacious Dragon. Four and a red for a 3-3 three, three dragon with flying. When it enters the battlefield, create two treasure tokens. Evolution Sage. Two and a green for a 3-2 elf druid. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, proliferate. Paradise Druid. One in a green for a 2-1 Elf Druid. It has Hexproof as long as it's untapped. Tap. Add one mana of any color. All in Bright Druid. 
one in a green for a 1-1 Elf Druid. When it enters the battlefield, choose one. For a plus one, plus one counter on target creature, proliferate. Or proliferate. Bulgari Find Broker. Black, black, green, green. For a 3-4 Elf Shaman, when it enters the battlefield, return target permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. Death Spout. One black, black, green, instant. Destroy target creature, search your library for a basic, and put it onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle your library. Thrashing Brontodon. One green green for 3-4 Dinosaur, with one sacrifice it, destroy target artifact or enchantment. Rhythm of the Wild. One red green for an enchantment, with creatures you control can't be countered. Non-token creatures you control have riot. Enter the battlefield with your choice of a plus one, plus one counter, or haste. So, funny thing that I'm not sure many people realize about Rhythm of the Wild. Uh, since non-token creatures enter with a plus one, plus one counter, you have something with Persist, uh, where it returns with a minus one, minus one counter, uh, unless it add a minus one, minus one counter. You can use this to counter out, to cancel out the minus one, minus one counter. So Rhythm of the Wild, a persist creature and a sack outlet goes infinite. And very few people realize that for some reason. Leyline Prowler, one black green for two, three, Nightmare Beast with Death Touch, Life Link, and Tap, add one mana of any color. Mayhem Devil. I completely... You mean I could have not bought those Mayhem Devils <laughs> like several months ago? Uh, one black red or three three devil. Whenever a player sacrifices a permanent, it deals one damage to target to to any target. Uh, this was one of the core and parts of the engine in Rakdos Sacrifice. Still very heavily used in uh, Rakdos Sacrifice and Pioneer. Woodland Champion, one in a green for a 2-2 Elf Scout. Whenever one or more tokens enters the battlefield under your control, put that many plus one plus one counters on Woodland Champion. Moldervine Reclamation, three black and a green. Enchantment, whenever a creature you control dies, you gain a life and draw a card. Angrath, Captain of Chaos, two and two hybrid black-red for a legendary Planeswalker Angrath that enters the battlefield with five loyalty. Creatures you control have menace, minus two, loyalty, a mass two. Then we have, I, I wonder if, or I wonder why they didn't include the uh, Cauldron Familiar in this. Let's see, one, two, three, five, six swamps. And two mountains, one, two, three, five, six forests. Bloodfell Caves, it's the uh, gain land for black red. Cryptic Caves, tap for colorless, one tap, sacrifice it, draw a card, activate only if you control five or more lands. Command Tower, taps for your commander's color identity. I guess it is commander even though it's brawl. Uh, you have a commander, even though it's the, the format is Brawl. Uh, Evolving Wilds, we all know what that does. Taps and Sacrifices for a basic, and play tapped. Golgari Guildgate, it's the black-green gate. Droll Guildgate, red-green gate. Uh, Jungle Hollow, it's the black-green gain land. Rugged Highlands is the <laughs> red-green gain land. Rector's Guildgate is black-red Guildgate. An add card. Very cool. Well, thank you for joining me on this adventure through the old Brawl deck. Wish, I, I, I wish I had realized that Mayhem Devil and a couple of the other cards were in these. Uh, I would have opened these much sooner. Because <laughs> about a year ago now, I, I bought... A place that of mayhem devils, specifically corrective sacrifice, but it is what it is. But thank you for joining me on this adventure to the throne of Eldraine. Uh, as always, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And uh, until next time, stay awesome.
We'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.